Hey, we want to thank you guys for being with us on this Thursday. <laughs> and we are crazy, we really are, about our next guest. Fans first fell in love with Henry Golding and Crazy Rich Asian. I've lost count how many times I have watched this movie. Mm -hmm. Well, since then, we've seen him in hits like The Gentleman, which he is, and A Simple Favor. And now he is starring in the timely drama Monsoon. Good morning, Henry. Thanks for being with Good us. Good morning. Oh, well, b before we get to your new film, which we want to talk about, congratulations. You and your wife, Liv, expecting your first child. We're very yeah. excited about that. So tell us, what was it like when you got the news I, that the I baby was on the way? I something during quarantine, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think a lot of people uh, are going to be saying that, but what was that moment like when you found out that the baby was on the way? You know, we um, it, it definitely came at the uh, appropriate time. We've been together uh, for about 10 years now, um, married for the past four years. And uh, it, it, we, we've gone to a place in our lives where we were ready. And, and so we were we were actively trying. And you, you guys know how it is. It's 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 a miracle uh, mm. when you do find out that you're pregnant because you know, we were very lucky, um, and I think a lot of people don't don't often sort of get to our stage. So uh, we're very grateful. We're we're super excited um, and terrified. <laughs> at the same time. Say that. Well, you're gracious as ever. Well, we're going to keep a tradition. If you were here, we would be handing you this. Good morning, America, a little onesie. So we're going to put it in the mail to you. You can send that to me for it's, sure. It's headed your way. It's headed your way, Henry. Yeah. Hey, hey, Henry, I, I wanted to ask you, 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 of course, are one of Hollywood's brightest stars, but we, we learned something about you as well, that you used to actually be a hairstylist and have styled your mom's hair before <laughs> red carpet events. I would imagine that's a skill that has been useful during quarantine. Have you used it? It did come in useful. Um, I think right smack dab in in the middle of the actual lockdown uh here in la my wife turns to me and was like it's it's about that time you need to get your scissors out because uh, <laughs> my hair is like looking like a mop so uh we gave her we gave her a one length the easiest possible cut uh and uh she was off run away never to return <laughs> <laughs> and now we want to talk about your new film monsoon you play a british vietnamese man who is He's trying to understand his identity as he returns to Vietnam, which he fled when he was six years old, when his family fled Vietnam at six. So how did your own life experience um, help you when you approach this story? So the, uh, the journey for Kit um, back to Vietnam really is a jarring one. Um, he's grown up predominantly in the UK. Uh, so this is his first time in his so-called sort of motherland since, since he can kind of remember. Um, and it's that same type of alienation that I felt as a young man when I kind of grew up in the UK and went back to Malaysia. You know, you presume or you, uh, you, you would hope that you kind of speak the language, you would settle into the culture. But upon arrival, there's this sense of not belonging. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's something that, that Kit kind of goes through. It's a, it's a cultural identity, a search for sort of cultural roots. And in this, in this clip we're about to see, you're revealing why your mom chose to go to England after fleeing Vietnam. Let's check it out. At the camps in Hong Kong, they asked my mother where she wanted to go. Everybody chose America, Australia, France. No one wanted to go to England because they said it was too cold. Of course, she chose England. You wondered why. She said, I won't go to England because I love the Queen very much. She's very polite, very happy. She saw a bloody picture of the Queen and she liked it. <laughs> well. well, Henry, speaking of identity, you've mentioned previously that there were times when you yourself felt that you didn't feel Asian enough. What did you mean by that? And what advice do you have for others who are you know, seeking to learn more about their own identity? Yeah, I think, um, you know, in today's society, we, we're always so happy to slap sort of a one-dimensional description on, on anyone. Are you black? Are you white? Are you Asian? You know, it's in this day and age, it's so much more complex than that. And I think people don't take that into account. And so uh, a kid from, you know, in, in with my background being half British and half Malaysian, 
it was so much more kind of confusing when I was younger. Mm. Um, now that I've, I've sort of grown into a man and I'm very secure in, in who I am, I think we do need to address, you know, within ourselves, our, our true sort of being. You know, it, it brings up the, the topic of, you know, are you a product of your nationality or are you a product of your cultural identity? And why can't you be a bit of both? Um, and so that's that's something that 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 is kind of reflected in in um, in Kit's journey, is that you know he's he's British with Vietnamese roots, um, but why close off one from the other? I think a lot of people need to embrace you know the the little sort of differences and the um, and the subtleties of of someone's back background. Well, I tell you what, Henry, that was well said. I mean, very well said. We're all sitting here in agreement with you on that. And we want to say you did a great job in the fast time that Ridge Mile High oh. um, table read. Got to say, I mean, that was the virtual table read. That was awesome, man. And we always love seeing you. And congratulations on your new movie. And the Appreciate new baby. It. And Thank the new baby. Five, 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 five. The best work. The new baby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Henry Gold, I love him. Such a He's nice a guy. Sweetheart. And sweetheart. Monsoon is available in virtual cinemas and on demand on your favorite streaming platform. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.